Hello and welcome to episode 7 of the City Podcast, which is a... Acronym. That's right, it's an acronym for Can I Trust You? My name is Roman, and to my left I have... My name is Roman. Eric. <laughs> nah, I hate that boy. <laughs> Mike. My belly's out. Peel off summer pants. That's Mark. Hello. And we have our tech guy, Tita Tony. Hello. Alright, uh, well, anyways, we're going to start off our podcast like we do every week. Nice. With a weekend review... Slash, like pinky in the brain. Slash, uh, <laughs> what is it, restaurant reviews? But, never seen pinky let's go brain? ahead and pass it over to Eric. What did you uh, get? This week, I went to Nama Ramen. It was good. It was not that expensive. It was mediocre. And then we ate mochi. That was excellent. Which is, uh, is Japanese mochi? ice cream. It's uh, the flavor of green tea, red beans... Uh, black sesame, what strawberry, else? Strawberry, strawberry, mango, vanilla. All That's together? Good. Like, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Separate ones. That's, okay. They're separate. Okay. Those like, are the yeah, flavors yeah, that yeah, come black in. Bean and but it's like shit. a little ball of mm-hmm. black frozen ice cream. Delicious. And then it's like uh, wrapped in what? I don't know what the fuck it's wrapped in. I think it's like deep fried ice cream. It's not deep fried. <laughs> <It> could <laughs> be. Right. Two different things. Great. <laughs> Great. No, no but you we don't know what it is. You can deep fry mochi, but... That's not what that show so is. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> it, but it, it, it was like doughy. It, it had like this white powder. Uh, I'm waiting for John to contradict like you. Like, it was, it was uh, doughy. No, it was more crunchy. Sugar? Huh? Confectioner sugar, probably. I don't know. Um, I don't know what confectioner sugar powdered is. Powdered sugar. Oh, why did you just say it was powdered sugar? Because it's called confectioner sugar. That's You're like the only sugar. person at this table who knew that. He yeah. would know that. Tony I mean, would know that. Tony it, doesn't have a microphone, so fuck it, him. But it doesn't matter. He would know. You're saying the only person in here, and clearly that's not the case. Yeah, there's like 12 And most us. likely, Mark knows what that is. Mark, did you know what that was? I did not. All right, <laughs> fuck it. All right. Well, I still have one more person that knows it, so Any fuck you. Any counts like three. Confederate sugar. Confederate sugar. <laughs> <laughs> Racist sugar. No, right. This here is white The dome shall rise again. <laughs> <laughs> Look here, Doc. Yeah, I don't want to eat this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to take that damn black ice cream and put my white justice all over it. <laughs> no, it just sounds like a Confederate porn. There you go. <laughs> I'm fine with that. I'll watch it. There's no blacks in it, right? No, there's, there's black. It's being covered by white. Did you there's, listen there's, to it? Yeah, it's a black chick being nailed by a uh, white, guy. white dude. With nice. like a curly mustache and yeah. a hat. <laughs> I feel like it would be several <laughs> white dudes. <laughs> Why does that have to be a hat? Why does that have to be a hat? Because they all wore hats. I don't think they did. They all wore hats. <laughs> I don't know. Everybody in the war wore hats. I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, the generals had the big hat, and then the fucking <laughs> yeah. the okay. soldiers all had that little oh, Confederate hat. Can, can you describe the hats though? Uh, yeah, it was like um, you know, they cover your head, and <laughs> they had a, they had a lid. They had a lid, and they were like uh, they were about the. The, the same cylinder shape as a top hat, mm-hmm. but they were shorter, and it just had the one brim lid in front of it. Okay, so that, that was like the that was the standard uniform for Confederates and Yankees. Yeah, but I thought, I mean, is Yankees. that like is that required? In, like, I think battle? so. They give it. Well, yeah. I don't know if it's required in battle, but it's, it's it makes it's the whole part uniform. Of the uniform, and they mm-hmm. have to wear the whole uniform. Yeah, because you paid. 20 cents for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure 20 cents was kind of a lot. Five dollars or what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was, I don't know. Five cents. This was back, back then in the day. Yeah, this yeah was that's why I said 20 cents was a this lot. This was yeah. the late 70s, uh, the late 1700s. Like, like, the a late... Pe- like a penny for a newspaper was a lot. That's how mm-hmm. you know you were well, well back informed. Back then they still had half pennies. Yeah. Did they have half pennies? Yeah. And then they had old fucking Confederates that had greenbacks and shit like that. Yeah. Right? They were fucking crap when... They weren't using washers. <laughs> Exactly. No, fuck off. All right. But, all right, we're going to so wait. Anyways, that was, that was, that was, Civil that War. was when we went to uh, Nama Ramen. We went to Nama Ramen Civil and War cast. Mochi. <laughs> oh, also, I bought this little book uh, at the mm-hmm. same place for the Mochi okay. about a uh, travel guide to Japan. Cause I'm, I'm going to go there one day. Yeah. One no, day. you're not. One day. All right. Well, I, I, I hope I hope you do. Okay, so, so you like Nama, but we've all eaten there before, at least uh, me, John, and Eric. Pretty much everybody here. Well, except for he, Mike. Mike didn't go, and did you go? I've yeah, been no. a couple of times. They have like this uh, moving fish fry stuff. Mm. Yeah, we went there well, one time. Sounds good. Yeah. Me and him went uh, went there. We fucking mm. poured the oil and watched it swirl oh, okay. a little bit. I'm I'm not a, a huge fan of Japanese ramen, so I I, I don't know. I, I guess I like pho better. It's not gonna be a popular opinion, but I mm-hmm. think I like it a little bit more than kung fu noodle. The on, the only thing I like about kung fu noodle is their steam buns. 
Not everybody likes the steamed buns, but they're like packed with cabbage and all that. I love cabbage. They're all right. So I, yeah. I really love the steamed buns. The ramen, again, take or leave ramen. I really don't care, but uh, steamed buns, I'll definitely go to Kung Fu Noodle for. So the thing I didn't like about, uh, what is it called? Nama? Nama. Nama. Nama is that the ramen was very obviously packaged ramen. I don't know about that. No, I, it I, was. I don't was, know. Those noodles were fucking, they could have bought them at HEB for... For all the quality that was in it, I, I don't. I, I'll, I'll. I will disagree with you on that, but I can't prove anything. So I'm gonna give you the half point. I'll, yeah, I'll give you the half point. Half point for John. Half cent. Turtle cool. and a half shell. That's what you get. Um, I mean, uh, if you remember uh, uh, Rio Japan, those were homemade noodles. Those noodles were fucking. I have never been to Rio. Those, you never hey, went? Man, no. Are you, you sure? went with the Austin? No. I, I didn't. Y'all were always talking about like we gotta go to Rio, Japan, and Austin. Is that the place we went, went, went to last yeah. time? I took you. That's yeah, right. I, I, I've, yeah. Just, I've never been. Yeah, I took Ashley. Yeah. Like those are quality fucking noodles, and you can taste the fucking difference. You can feel the difference in the texture in your mouth. <laughs> you can feel it bust the load in your mouth. Mm. Uh. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, if you want a bowl of broth and noodles, mm. go to Fa Long instead of Mango Ramen. Oh. I just I I just like Fa better than ramen. Like ramen, I don't like. Particularly like the broth, the hard-boiled eggs that are halved, I'm not a big fan of. They taste odd to me, just because I don't know what they're... Isn't it the same as actually... egg drop soup? No. <laughs> I mean, the, the broth is... I guess the broth is no, okay. No, I'm, just, I'm just talking about like the egg and the broth. No, 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 no. no these are straight-up chunks of hard-boiled egg. No, they're, yeah. they're hard-boiled eggs that are halved, but they're they're boiled in something. What it is, I don't know. Maybe because they have kind of like a brownish tint to them. Are they, aren't they poached? I don't think they're poached oh. before. No, because poached is where you crack an egg into boiling water, and this is clearly oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. this is clearly uh, a hard yeah, boiled yeah, yeah. egg. Like hard boiled. Yeah. But it has like some kind of brown tint to it. I guess it's like but, uh, in, in like a maybe a soy sauce type, you know, something. I, I have no idea. Yeah, but um, the one in Nama Ramen didn't have egg. No, but you can add it. For, you can add it. Oh yeah, yeah we but can add I think it. like a couple well, of the ramen. It only yeah. it only comes with the noodles. But the you remember we went for their lunch, belly. and they only have one ramen available. Yeah, at lunch. that's true. Yeah, there's no I, I've, I've, I've only ever gone during uh, the uh, dinner hours. Yeah, yeah like if you go at lunch, you don't get a choice. You're getting one type of ramen, mm. and you're getting three, three types of sushi. Three Maybe that's sushi. it because I remember you liking it the first time we went. I didn't mm. get ramen the first time because we had already eaten. Oh, I you got, got the, a sushi. I bro. got the sushi, and the sushi was excellent. I mm. had the eel sushi like I always do. I mm. love eel. Mm. It was great. I liked it. The ramen was subpar. Boy, what would you like about it? Huh? It's not the best choice for ramen. Okay, where would you go? Uh, uh, let's say in town. Would, do you know of another ramen place? In the like? city, I went to... It's been a long time since I went. The one downtown. Mm. Kimura's? Kimura? Oh, Kimura. Kimura is really good. Yeah. That, I s- the, when that, I s- the Chinkatsu? Mm-hmm. That shit is good. Have you ever been to a Zushi? Uh, Zushi? Yes. Uh, Zushi. No, but uh, a couple of my friends do work there. Because like, they deliver, and I know that they'll deliver out to my house. Yeah, that doesn't sound too appetizing. I mean, they, they, I've, I've tasted uh, the, the katsu that they have there, but if anything, I'd rather go to Kimura. Yeah. That's Kimura is, we we got to go to Kimura. I had to go to the uh, one over there on Broadway, the, uh, uh, what's it called? McDonald's. No. (laughs) Good shit. They got this thing called the hot and spicy. And let me tell you, it is hot and spicy (laughs) for like a buck. It is. It is. And the spicy. It's it's like two bucks. You got to pay a buck for each thing, the hot and the spicy. And there's a little fun fact. There's a little piece of chicken in there, too. <laughs> it's not all bun and lettuce, let me tell you. Yeah. Damn, there's a called? small piece of <laughs> Shred- Shredded a lettuce. There's semen in it. They tell you it's mayonnaise, yeah. but I know it's mayonnaise. Shredded lettuce and a fuck ton of mayonnaise. Manglaze. Bo- manglaze. It's gonna, it's Between two, two fat pieces of buns, it's let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> that's, my, that's my McDonald's review. <laughs> It's off of Broadway, over there by Alamo Heights. It's like uh, a big old hole. It's like oh, a big old hole. Oh, oh, this is it a big old hole. It's like oh, 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 oh EO, the right or stuff. Something like that. All right, well, all right. So we're getting a good, a good, and then we're getting two mediocre. So go visit Nama if you want. Nama's uh, all right. It, I would say I would say if you're really gonna go to Nama Rama, go for the moving fish flakes. That was the first time I saw that. I mean, it wasn't special, but I just wanted to see. It, it was kind of fucked up. Go to Nama Ramen, go because it's not too far from you. And you, know, if you live cheap. as far from it as and we do. 
Fuck and it. it's cheap. I'm still going. I'm hey, going to get it. Yeah, like if you it's go cheap, if you go yeah. to the one downtown, you're gonna spend a good amount. Yeah, yeah. For, I pay cool. for like two to three people. That, that when I when stuff. I paid for two people, when we did get drinks. I was spending like eighty bucks. See, yeah. But then again, I drank mostly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I was like, I, I didn't. I used to back in the day. <laughs> Before okay. the incident, <laughs> before, asshole Mike before, coming out now. Before the sadness hits. <laughs> yeah, before the sadness hit. It's new. Uh, all right, well. I was somebody. Uh, as far as Nama, go check it out if you're near the 1604 and what, Babcock area? 1604 and Babcock, yeah. Yeah, if, you're, if you're out there. and Fat Cock. <laughs> <laughs> if, you're, if you're near Juicy Fat Cock in 1604, go ahead and drown your sorrows in some yeah, you can uh, eat some ramen and then if you like boba tea you can no- go next door and smoke a hookah with it go anywhere you'll the find hookah boba shop tea next door is so trash. Trash. that was a good civil war no, ramen. that was a <laughs> rousing civil war ramen uh, discussion as well yeah, as uh, well Mike what do you got uh, this past week I just worked a lot of hours 138 that's slave hours right there which yeah. brings me and, back but that's one, that know? was just one week right no, they no, had no, black no, people in Civil War to fight. Yeah. Okay. But it's, I mean, I've never worked that much ever. Yeah, that sounds... You basically worked three three weeks in two? Yeah, I guess. Two weeks. Yeah, pretty mm-hmm. much. Uh-huh. Eh, I'm, I'm going to be glad when I see the check. Yeah. Mm. Wait until taxes takes it away. Yeah, this going to be a good amount. Because of your skin color. Oh, that's yeah. true. <laughs> you are that's really true. dark. <laughs> <laughs> Only one of my arms is really dark because I drive a truck. Anyways, I thought you were going to say because I jerk off. No, no. <laughs> that too. Oh, that is my left hand too. That's how. Right. That's how. Maybe, even, maybe oh. God's punished me with a, with a go, black left you hand. Get, you always want a jungle fever. <laughs> I, you know what? I haven't. Uh, quick side. I haven't watched a lot of black girl porn. Oh, that's what you're going to say. I haven't washed my hand. <laughs> oh no, I've washed my hand, baby. Come on. And I've been using my uh, my fucking silicone mouth. So, on John, my dick. that's pretty good. How'd your day go? That was a quick uh, well, today, I officially Black said chicks. the worst thing that I've ever said about my mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was teasing this when we were uh, eating dinner at Denny's. And I, I'm, I'm curious, what, what, what happened? Okay, so I'm at work, and uh, one of the meat cutters, Jacob, he goes, uh, he goes, I punked my brother a little bit. He goes, I, uh, I got into his Facebook, and I switched his birthday mm. to today. Is your coworker Ashton Kusher? No. Kusher? <laughs> <laughs> I got <Not> punked. <laughs> Coocher. Coocher. <laughs> Aston Coocher. Coocher. So he, he, um, yesterday he man. had, uh, he changed his brother's birthday to today on Facebook. Mm. And uh, his what? brother was freaking out, like, why is everybody telling me happy birthday? What the fuck? <laughs> and I was like, dude, my mom's birthday's on Monday. Mm. I can change her birthday to a couple of days later so that when Monday comes, nobody tells her happy birthday and she gets <laughs> so depressed <laughs> that she kills herself. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I love this. Do it. Do it. I want you to do it. Please. Please, for the love of God, do it. I'll finally be happy. (laughs) 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 And a room full of people Mm. working with dead animals stopped to look at me like I was the most fucked up human being in the world. And I'm like, y'all are cutting up dead animals. Don't fucking judge me. Cut it up (laughs) dead. What? While you while you cut a, a pig's head in half, <laughs> I was cutting beef today. <laughs> so go ahead. All right. Well, I, honestly, <laughs> that was good. I needed a good laugh. Thank you, John. So officially, the most fucked up thing I've said about her. I'm, so I'm, far. I'm, I'm sure in in the next coming years you'll you'll find something worse than that. I'm sure next week you'll have something else you want to say about your mom. <laughs> When you were when we were at dinner, you stopped me like I said the most fucked up thing about your mom. I was like, you say that like every week. <laughs> I told I think, you it was the worst thing by far. I think eventually when we get to when we get to uh, episode ten, I'll see if I could get like a montage together of the sh- times you talk shit about <laughs> your mom. It's gonna be a clip show. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for a clip show. It's a filler arc. Yeah. <laughs> We need time to craft uh, episode eleven. It'll be the biggest you ever seen. You'll get. We're gonna go <laughs> off and said. do do so much shit. We're gonna talk about uh, food for a bit, and then probably touch up on history, and then <laughs> talk <laughs> about our dicks. You know, like we always do. Yeah, like all the time. Classic, but it's gonna be at least a half hour longer. <laughs> yeah. What do, What is our normal run? For like 40, 40 minutes to like an hour and ten. 
Somewhere it's going to be at least an hour and 30 minutes, so <laughs> make yourself a sandwich and get ready for episode 10. It's a 11. 11. <laughs> 11. <laughs> You're already fucking up. <laughs> Unless we have some badass editing. And my stomach will be out the entire time. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I beg you to put it away. <laughs> it's gross, dude. It looks like there was a cat attack. He has like these, I don't know why he has so many pimples on his stomach. Or... <laughs> he actually has to push in a bit of his stomach so you can see what we're looking at. You ever seen the marks that people get when they uh, get struck by lightning? Mm-hmm. He has them all the time. There's a lot of lightning. Bro, I thought lightning didn't hit twice. <laughs> hit like 17 times. Oh, I heard that golfers actually get struck the most of anything <laughs> because basically they have iron cleats that are dug into the ground. They're carrying this big fucking yeah, metal pipe. Big old conductor. So uh, that makes sense. It's pretty cool. I I found, I, that, that's another reason why I hate golf. I found out if you run in the beach while it's raining, you're gonna get hit by lightning. Or you have a higher chance. Yeah, I was like, it's automatic. <laughs> you're, you're gonna get hit by lightning. Like, maybe Tiger Woods didn't beat the shit oh, out no. of his wife. Maybe it was just like lightning spasms. He was just like, oh. <laughs> he beat his wife? All right, you have one more for the, no, month, for the year. No, he didn't. I know he, he cheated on his wife. I don't think he beat his yeah, wife. that was it. He, he cheated on his wife. Fucking... He Chester cheated on him. <laughs> you want to talk about your week? <clears throat> um, I had what? a pretty shitty week already. I'm not going to get into full details, but. Okay. It wasn't that bad. Um, that, that's all of you. Oh, you just know the one part. That's, that's it. Uh, a lot of probation stuff. All right. Since I am a criminal. Um, okay. I have to sit look at black people at least once a month. <laughs> I got to go back and do it again. It's not the good type of blacks, too. It's the criminal type of blacks. Not the fun-loving ones you see, like, on TV. <laughs> <laughs> not the ones that are making millions but playing basketball. It's, yeah. It's, it's like the, the It's actually, it's actually <laughs> criminals. <laughs> My cousin's been watching a lot of, like, wrestling, so I've kind of caught some of it. Mm-hmm. And apparently these three random black dudes are all happy all the time. Oh, that's the new day. Yeah, see, I haven't seen any of them. I want to see them when I go down to the probation <laughs> office. <laughs> One dude playing a trombone. Mm-hmm. Another with a unicorn horn. Mm-hmm. But uh, anyways, more about my week. <laughs> um, right at the pinnacle, I think shit can't get any worse. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was already late for work. Okay. And on my way, I stopped. This is going to be kind of like another food review. Because uh, there's one type of food that always... Hits the spot. It hits the spot, but it's bad for me, not so much health wise. Mm-hmm. It's just bad karma all the time. Okay. And it's pho. Really? Or pho. What? It's pho. It's pho. It's, it's, it's pho. Fuck all <laughs> it's of you that pho. say pho. Yeah, I've heard someone else say that kind of shit, so. It's pho. <laughs> regular, regular slant eyes call it pho, but us mm-hmm. Americans call it pho. Yeah, well, y'all are all and we all, we all know America is dominant over it, okay? <laughs> USA. 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 <laughs> Only you fucking turn in there. Fuck these guys. Yeah, I, they're not uh, patriotic. Let's go Mexico. Because <laughs> obviously we want to make this country great. You weren't, you weren't even born in Mexico. <laughs> I know. Let's go to Mexico. Shut up. He was fucking born here. Oh, yeah, okay. That's close. So, Fuck off. What's the closest hospital? I know, like, go, go ahead. Hit you with a sore mark. So I already assumed, like, you know, I'm going to be a little late. I might as well get something good to eat. I'm oh. not going to, you know, try McDonald's, even though yeah. I, you already heard my McDonald's review. <laughs> <laughs> How can you not pass that up? It's only it's a true. fucking dollar. It's true. You get like two of those bad boys, some fries and a drink, you're fucking set, mate. <laughs> mate. Oi. Uh, oi. Um, so I was like, you know, we get pho. And I always go to fucking pho how long. Mm-hmm. Or pho how long. It's pho how long. Go ahead. It's pho how long. Shut um, up. For how long? For how long. <laughs> as soon as I... Never fat. As soon as I kind of turn, I hear like this loud clank or whatever. <laughs> okay. Always bad. Yeah, and, and while I was thinking this, I just got my truck recalibrated because I have the, the blow me starter in there. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I just got to do fucking one more month and I'm fucking done with yeah. this. And sure enough, I'm like, I'm just going to eat, go to work, mm-hmm. and it's going to be fine. Mm-hmm. Life is going to be great. Clicking and clack. <laughs> Boom, that fucking happens. I remember I stopped and I'm like, no, 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 no. That's <laughs> 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 fucking yeah, it was right. time. Yeah, <laughs> you're running around your truck. Oh no, 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 not me. <laughs> this is not happening. So I hit up, hit up this boy over here, fucking mm-hmm. Eric, mm-hmm. Just, just to fucking see what he's doing. Mm-hmm. Cause I was like, hey, maybe I'll fucking invite him over here. Tell him I'm eating pho mm-hmm. or pho. So he wants to come over here to eat it. Just call it pho. You're, nah. you're backtracking the pho just to make sure you call it pho. Just call it pho. 
<laughs> There's some people out there who don't call it fun. I'm, 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 hitting, I'm hitting both demographics here. Yeah. Well, so we only I want seven I'm hitting, listeners, and I'm, I'm pretty sure they all call it fun. I'm, I'm secluding them because I don't give a shit. I got you, folk people. <laughs> so Eric tells me he's at work. I was like, you know what? I'm fucking done. I'm done with this piece of truck, mm-hmm. piece of shit truck. Mm-hmm. I got rid of the old one because I thought I wasn't going to have problems. Okay. I didn't know what was wrong with it. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to go eat. Mm-hmm. Fuck everything else. I'm just going to go finally eat something. Yeah. I sat there and ate. It was, I don't even know what I remembered getting. I just got whatever. I was like that fucking devastated. <laughs> ate it, come back, mm-hmm. saw that the tie rod was popped off the wheel. Okay. Uh, eventually, long story short, I just want to really talk about eating it, <laughs> eating the eating the foe. <laughs> it was one of the best moments I had. I finished everything. Even had all the whole broth too. I didn't get a large because I knew it was too bitch made to <laughs> eat a large. But yeah, I don't get a large anymore. Yeah, it's so fucking late. delicious. Oh, I was already late. I was like an hour and thirty minutes late. Mm. So that's why I decided to go eat pho. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Pho. <laughs> if you're late, then fuck it. Why Might not? as well eat something good. Yeah. But eventually, I just called in. And then mm-hmm. Eric here helped me out. Him and his dad helped mm-hmm. me out fix the truck. Good. It's now running like a shitty dream. Nah, it's still it's running actually a little better than it was before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're talking shit. Yeah. <laughs> but all right. Well, it at least ended on a positive note. Um. Yeah. I guess you could say that. But I don't want to think uh, positive because <laughs> last time I did that, fucking <laughs> Kyrod <Black. had>, Yeah. <laughs> it was about to fucking That's end my life. It was right. It was right by the highway. I was about along. to run. That's why. I was about to run into the highway. It's because you went to Fahalong. long. So, every time you go not, by yourself, not, every bad time I'm interested in this part of it. Like, why is it? Why do you call it bad karma when you go? Because every time I go and eat pho, mm-hmm. something bad happens. I'm, this first happened when I was trying to get my own place. Okay. I was living with my my mom because she was like, "Come live with me. You know, you'll save mm-hmm. some money. Yeah. This and that, and you know, you'll be able to do whatever you need to." Mm-hmm. I was already fucking in debt trying to get my old truck fixed, mm-hmm. trying to get a new job. Mm-hmm. And this was like in a weird transition period. Uh, Eric was helping me out, let me borrow his car. Yeah. And I stopped. Oh, no, yeah. no, the fucking truck just hasn't, didn't break down yet. Yeah, All yeah, the yeah. shit happened after that. Mm-hmm. I just got the truck fixed for something. Mm-hmm. Or no, no, I, transmission. I, I, the transmission, transmission got fixed. Okay. Um, and so I decided to go eat pho. Not at that place, but some other place. Mm-hmm. And I was like, you know, maybe I'm just being too hard on myself right now i gotta think a little more positive i was like you know shit's gonna look up okay. everything's gonna be great you know i got the truck it sounds like i got this job coming up mm-hmm. everything's gonna be great i ate i was like this is fucking delicious i drive and the fucking truck shits out on me <laughs> that was the first time yeah. second time that's when everything was trying with, with the transition stuff i got ate it for how long again and sure enough my mom was like you need to move out I was like, I have fucking no money. I'm trying to get all this shit together. Yeah. Like, every time I try to get somewhere mm-hmm. and I eat fucking pho, okay. life goes to shit. Huh. Whenever I want, whenever I want to try to better myself mm-hmm. and think positive, and then I decide to go eat pho, mm-hmm. life goes to shit. It huh. always goes to shit all the time. It's always at that moment. Okay, what if, like, uh... I, I want to say that it sounds like every time you go, it's because you go by yourself. We've gone plenty of times together. <laughs> Invite, nigga. That's all I'm saying. Invite. I mean, I did try to invite you as soon as the truck <laughs> broke down. <laughs> I, was already late, I was already late for work. And let's be honest, you're not the most punctual person. That's fucking... I'm not punctual. I'm, I was already I'm late. There, I mean, I'm gonna be there I was going to go to work late, but I didn't want to be that late. <laughs> That's true. You ended up calling me. <laughs> I called in anyways because the fucking truck broke down. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, at, at least the truck thing worked out, uh, worked out and, and hit on a positive. Note. Yeah, that, yeah. It was an adventure. adventure. At least for me, because I had to go bike tour. But uh, at least for my week, I today just got a brand new car. Thank you. Thank you. I farted. You know what? That's that's a strange thing. We're gonna we're gonna pause in the car and I'll tell you what it is. Okay. On my way to work, one time, I was just thinking about the prices right for some reason. <laughs> and I was thinking about the showcase, and I was like, it, like, is fucking, is anybody ever going to be happy about showcase two? Because showcase one is like, here's a fucking 14-day cruise to wherever the fuck it is. To okay. Pleasure yeah, Island. Yeah, like, the, to Pleasure Island, yeah. And it's like, you get this and this and all expenses paid and blah, blah, we'll take care of everything. And then, like, showcase two, it's like... A it, full workout set for you, fatty. Yeah, it's just like, <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's a semi-new car. And it's no, like, wait, sometimes it's a camper. Oh, yeah. A oh, used like camper. Yeah. Either way, they have stains in them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The thing is, like, 
no one's ever really excited for for showcase two because they know if it's a car i'm just gonna be stuck with payments that's all it is like, like fuck you like you're not even giving me a brand new car so brand new car so yeah brand new car like no one's ever psyched because they know what's going on like they're gonna pay off some of it like maybe two months but then after that you're gonna have to pay, fucking pony up the dough for the month of payments yeah but at least a, oh no i was gonna say at hey, least a hot chick no, showed I you the car when they gave you the brand new car all you have to pay is the taxes I yeah, you do just, have to pay the tax on. Yeah, yeah, but that's all you have to pay is the tax. Is that it? Yeah, yeah. But but, but is that a, but is that a one? No, you don't. No, no not at real? all. No, no, you get it. For, they're paying for the car. If the car is twenty three thousand dollars. They're paying twenty three thousand dollars. I still gotta pay like a grand. You, gotta, you still gotta no. The taxes on twenty three dollars is not a grand. What is it? Uh, uh, fuck like, if I. It depends on the interest rate. Basically. Uh, you're looking at Good. five to six grand. Mm-hmm. Ugh. And that's that's one lump sum. You can't do payments on that bitch. For real? Yeah. No. That, that's taxes. People Tax- were, when when Oprah did that to everyone, gave everyone a car. People were fucking. Some people were fucking real pissed. I I, I know I would be. Yeah. Well, she so. she didn't. She, 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 okay, so if <laughs> Oprah gives you a car, mm-hmm. you gotta pay the taxes on it. Yeah, you yes. gotta pay the tax. Yeah, you always have to pay. The Is tax. this a yearly tax? Is no, that what we're talking no, about? No, that's no, a one-time tax. Yeah. Huh. Why not? <laughs> Welcome to tax cast. I have to pay a tax <laughs> when I have It's always just evolving. And it uh, all depends on the car. The and more then, expensive the you know car, what? the more the tax. Price is right. I, I love it and hate it at the same time because it's bullshit fucking... Drew Carey. Yeah, I, I like Drew, Drew, Drew Carey. And then there's it's not just sexy ladies, now it's just sexy people. Yeah, and I don't like that. Now yeah. everyone's super they sexy. Now? Uh, yeah, yeah, they, they got dudes. Huh? But like yeah. some of the games are bullshit. Like Plinko, that's all the game of chance. You never win in Plinko. There's not like a, a, a strategy to Plinko. When it comes to fucking uh, Price is Right, there are some games that are clearly skill-based and some that just aren't. They're, they're fu- like, Plinko is the biggest fucking rip-off of a game because there's no skill to it. They're like, oh, let me fucking get on the right corner and I can get towards the middle with this. and It, do- it doesn't work. And then I was looking up all these fucking games for Price is Right, and as far as like all the other games that are on Price is Right... I'm not shitting you. There's probably about 30 plus games that are on the prices right, and I don't games. remember all of these. Yeah, there's a, there's actually like Plinko was a game, but there's let's see, let me just rattle off a couple. <laughs> uh, let's see. There's Bullseye. There is Double Cross. Lucky Seven. Did they ever have one about like ping pong? I don't. Or beer pong? Or as the Chinese so. call it, ping pong. Ping pong. Shut up. God damn, I hate you. I fuck. Your, your Christopher Walken impression is the fucking worst on the planet. But it's I could, so I fun. Could, I could find a five-year-old that can do a better job than you. I'm, I'm fucking sure, sure of it. I'm pretty sure a five-year-old's going to be like, who's Christopher Walken? I can teach them to a do a better job. A 25-year-old would be like, who's Christopher Walken? No, yes. I think they would know who that is. No, you're, you're fucking... Dude, seriously, I have never felt so old in all of my life. This guy from work, right? He's like mm-hmm. 23, 24. We were talking about Aerosmith, and he goes, who's Aerosmith? And I was supporting these boxes of meat that I was trying to lazily tilt and get up onto a shelf from the floor, <laughs> and I let the boxes, five fucking 80-pound boxes, I just let them fall to the floor, and I stared at him dead in the fucking face, and I was like, what the fuck do you mean? Who's Aerosmith? What's a Steven Tyler? <laughs> <laughs> but you know, uh, I love, the song why does you that love, dude I look at, no, Why does the, that dude look like a lady? Yeah. <laughs> I, I told him, I was like, look, nice. even if you don't know you've heard Aerosmith, mm. you've heard Aerosmith. Mm. Uh, you, the song from Armageddon, is that a movie? Dream on? I lost my shit. He one time made Armageddon. his daughter dan- dance real sexy in a music video yeah, and les out with some chick. Hell yeah. Was, so was it like that stripper one? Yeah, it was. Crazy, crazy, crazy. This, little, this little boy didn't know what Armageddon was. And Ar- Armageddon on? Did he see Armageddon on at least? No, I don't think so. Shit, you uh. fucked up. That was a good point. I forgot where I heard this from. They're like, if you were Steven Tyler from Aerosmith and you could have any chick in the world, mm. who would you go for? Liv Tyler. Yeah, he's, dude said something. He's like, that chick is on. If it was me, I'd choose Liv Tyler. Oh. <laughs> That's his daughter, ain't it? His wife? Well, Lannister always pays his debts. <laughs> I don't get that reference. <laughs> I, I don't get that. Anyways, um, but yeah, getting back to my car, I got a brand new 2016. Nissan Ultima. Is that how we started? Did you have to think about <laughs> yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, I had to think about it. I was like, hesitated. what, what the car fuck were we it? talking about? So, yeah. I got a Nissan Ultima. Pretty cool. I Blacked like out. it very much. I was the first friend 
out of us two writing it. That's true. He, uh, Mike actually <laughs> popped the, uh, what is it? What is it? A uh, passenger cherry. Mm. So you, you fucked that. John shit. farted in I it. I farted in it, so. It doesn't matter. How'd you, you popped do that it. if. Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. You, you, you were like drinks. the. Uh, it's like my car was like a. I Christianed a, it. Uh, it <laughs> Christianed it? Yeah. He named it Christian. No, uh, fuck no. It's like the Inquisition all over again. Anyways, uh, mm, it's like my car was Catholic. like a a, 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 a pure Ooh, Catholic schoolgirl, and she oh. gave you a blowjob, but she didn't go all the way until Mike. Ooh. It was like a beeger. Um, oh, I got it, in the rear. And it was smooth. Oh yeah, Eric did get yeah, it in the rear. He, uh, yeah, if if we're going with the with the the pure Christian schoolgirl. You 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 tongue punched your fart box Hell for yeah. sure. That was about it. But anyways, She's we're, it. we're we're so gonna. You just realized that Rome's car is a slut. No. Yeah, I did hump it actually. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You were the first one to fuck it. That's true. <laughs> I, I was actually thinking about that, doing it at the doing it at the lot in front of the people. Just like, get it. Yeah, just be like I'm marking my territory. Mm. That's good. It's good suspension. <laughs> but get your cock out of my gas tank. <laughs> oh, that would suck. You would burn like shit. Uh, I heard mufflers is where they. they that's bucket. that's a sweet spot. Mufflers. <laughs> but like while it's warm. warm, you warm it up a little bit, then uh-huh. you let it cool down. Oh, and yeah. when it's between, oh, no, yeah. I got third degree burns on my cock because yeah, I fucked a it muffler. Roughly, it roughly runs about above like five hundred degrees. Whose dick is that? Big? I know. I was about to say you don't have enough girth for that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Uh, we're gonna do our hard transition as we always do. Hard right, transition. transition. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> God damn it! All right, so we're gonna hard transition into our topic, and we're gonna go nerdy this time. It was nerdy to be a smooth transition, but it was supposed to be. But I had to, I had to wedge in my car somewhere. Hopefully, I can contribute into this nerd. I think you can. Well, you can. Um, but our, our our nerd transition is video games. Kind of some of our favorites would be where we're aiming at. Or if you remember any shitty games you're disappointed by, you can talk about that either way. Well, but I know off with we're all looking Eric. forward to one thing for next week. Nope. That's Rise of Iron for Destiny. That's true. Well, th- oh. okay, not everybody. It's me, Eric, and John, of course. That's Woo-hoo. everybody. <laughs> we're, we're, we're excited for Destiny Rise of Iron. It's a new DLC. It looks not a porn star. It looks really, really. How would really you? Good. How I, would you confuse Rise of Iron no, for Destiny. Oh, okay. Raise the Iron and Destiny. Raise the Iron. What is the number oh. of this downloadable content already? Uh, this is Seven. uh fourth expansion on the game. Yep. Is that gonna be it, or is it gonna continue? I, I think uh, this is the is last. This is Destiny number two. Yeah, after this, I believe it's Destiny two, probably fall of twenty seventeen. Destiny er. <laughs> That's what we call Just when you couldn't destiny, 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 some more. De- destiny, 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 harder. <laughs> yar, yar. I am looking forward to it because it's mostly the story of Lord Salad Beans. What Salad Beans? Salad Beans. Fucking. <laughs> his name is Lord Saladin. He's. I'm not gonna get into the fucking storytelling. But He's Lord Saladin. <laughs> his name's Lord Saladin. Clumsy but... Paladin. Yeah, everybody calls him Lord Salad Fingers. Oh, I call um, him Salad Bean. You're in the minority there. Yes, I am. By minority, I mean you're the only one that ever. Said and that. but you guys Lord just Salad you... Bean is the ruler of the Iron Banana. <laughs> this sounds terrible already. That's and you guys and, to the layman. and no. you guys and you guys just play player versus player though, right? No, no. I I. I kind of specialize in PvP. See, I can't play player versus player. I got burnt out like since Call of Duty, and I just play yeah. just like when we when I was playing with y'all. Games, yeah. yeah, that's it. That's what I want to play. And, and and I can see that, but there's there was something about Destiny where when the Taken King came out last year, which was supposed to be like Destiny 2.0, um, I really decided I'm gonna throw my hat into the game and really really try to get better at this game because yeah. I completely suck. Now I'm pretty decent, actually. Uh, my KD's gone up uh, a little bit. For those of you that don't know, KD is kill death ratio. Yeah. So, uh, I, I think I started off with maybe like a. I'm still not 1.0 or anything above that. I think, but I think when I first started Destiny, it was like 0.7 or 0.62 or something. It was fucking terrible. Now it's still not at 1.0, but it's getting there. It's you like see that you're better. Yeah, it's like point eight seven. So 
I've gone up quite a bit. Since I've been playing for like two weeks, mm. all Roman's uh, uh, KDRs have been like 2.6. Yeah. Which means he kills 30 people and dies about three, four times. Yeah. Uh, like I said, I, I've been having some hot games with Telesto Besto. That's DJ probably, Tisto. That's probably my favorite gun. But again, getting way too deep into Destiny. I'm excited for uh, Destiny Rise of Iron at least, but I, I feel like uh, with this one, mm. I always play shooters, and I like going, you know, into lobbies where it's player versus player. Mm. But um, Destiny makes it seem, it, with the bounties, like it gives you a focus on what to do and how to, you know, other things to focus on. Mm. Like Call Call of Duty, you have them. But mm -hmm. you never really know because you always have to. I, I always have to go to that fucking screen to see yeah, what you get unlock and stuff like that. Not my style. Mm -hmm. Destiny. It's like here's a bounty. This is what you gotta do. Mm -hmm. Try and do it. And I'm yeah. like, all right, I'll do that. The, 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 well, the thing is, like, Destiny kind of changed shooters from As the time it came out because of the kind of uh, loot system that they have. You get something after, you know, completing the game That's in true. PvP or in the story mode after you complete a mission. And I think Call of Duty is really... Call is of Duty's in a weird space right now. Call of Duty's... The, the, the one Call thing of Duty is you wanted to get to the higher levels and then prestige and then... Yeah, you, you, you wanted to get... Once you prestige, you just unlock everything all over again. Yeah. It, it, nah, bro. So Call of Duty's leak gaming, bro. Like the, it's all the, about that 360 no scope. <laughs> God, that, that there shit. you go. Like, th here's the thing: is like the one thing that we can all agree on is that Destiny sucks. Yeah, I can agree on that one. That Overwatch <laughs> is overrated. Overwatch. Yeah, Overwatch actually, is Overwatch. Trash. I really wanted Overwatch to have like. I apparently has like this big rich story, mm -hmm. but it, it's just it's just a it's just it's, a first it's, not it's just. In the game. Yeah, it's just like yeah. a first-person shooter uh, uh, PvP. Uh, I'm like uh, again something that they took from Destiny yeah. because the story in Destiny. There's is, no story. In there. It's convoluted. As yeah, shit. and there's, there's like a story, which there is a good no, article. Not. If you, if you care story. about that kind yeah, of stuff, yeah, follow the. Uh, you just do the the, story the Vanguard missions. The Jack and Jill has a story. They Look, went the, up a the, hill. The whole thing about it's not a real good story. The whole thing about <laughs> Destiny, you, you can actually not to follow, bitch. Grimoire cards are things that you can unlock as you play the game, and you get more information on enemies, weapons, all kinds of stuff like that. Um, and the reason that came about is because if you're really interested in this kind of behind-the-scenes kind of uh, gaming stuff, uh, Kotaku has a pretty good uh, a pretty good article what on. What is Kotaku? It's a website. Oh, uh, it's a website Kotaku? Nope. For weebs. Really? Ko Ko Kotaku is just like a, a gaming website. Um, they have a I really good article. Kotaku. They have a really good article on, on Destiny and how it was kind of fraught with all these different problems before it actually came out and the reason why it came out the way it did with Vanilla and not having a cohesive story, things like that. Um, but enough about Destiny. I can talk about Destiny for hours. But the one thing that I think a lot of us are actually... Uh, excited for is actually. What about you, Mike? What kind of games did you play, or playing, or played? I have y'all seen the the new trailer for Recore? Yes. No. No. Those are the kind of games I like. Oh wait, wait, is that the one where the uh, dad left the girl with yes. the different robots? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm interested in that one. Yeah. I kind of want to play that one. I don't know. They were they, right. they were saying that's pretty good. Uh, I've been reading some articles on it, kind of things like that. There was one. I don't know why people care so much about graphics. But they were comparing the PC version against the Xbox One version. Eh, uh, I don't really care about yeah, it that like, much. Oh, man, PlayStation shit the bed with PlayStation 4 Pro. God, I could talk about that later, but Jesus, they fucked up there. Um, but, like, what, what kind of games... Okay, so you play more adventure games now. Like but uh, the Limbo one? Like Crash Bandicoot. You should check oh, out, you should check out Inside. Hey, it's Inside I is... Know, I I want to buy it, though. Mm. It's the same, the it same uh, production team. So, um, yeah. so, so you like adventure games? Well, yeah, I know I'm a first-person shooter, obviously. And I, was I don't. Thing on Halo. Mm -hmm. Halo uh, was my thing. Another Bungie game? Yes, another Bungie. Creators of, of Destiny. Destiny. I, I don't know. Oh, God, I could talk about Destiny forever. But, but <laughs> what, the one thing that I can say that everybody's kind of excited for, except for maybe Mark, yeah. Uh, is uh, Gears of War, Call of Duty, the Call of Duty Four, 
the what is it, Modern Warfare the remaster? Oh, it's yeah. coming out. Definitely. Um, that's probably the game that started me playing at least uh, first person shooters heavily. Mm -hmm. I kind of fucked around with them, of course, with like Golden Eye kind of things mm -hmm. like that. But was never really good and never really paid attention to it too much. But when Call of Duty came out, whoo boy, that you're, fucked me you're up. More, uh, Devil May Cry and yeah, I was definitely a more adventure games like some of my favorite games, and I'll kind of just throw a little bit in there. Uh, I was more of an adventure game guy. Uh, I did play Devil May Cry, loved the first one. The second one was oh, yeah, not that over. great. Is that the one that had the uh, angel? Yeah, it's the one that had uh, Lucia or something. I think, her name I think was Lucy or, or some shit. Yeah. Lucy. Um, then three was actually pretty good as well. That was a prequel, um, but. A lot of the mechanics were really, really good on that one. I liked it. Uh, what was the next one after that? Four. Was it four? I never really got off to four. I didn't really like Nero too much as a character, so I never really finished playing it. I probably will eventually. And then there was, what, DMC? And I'll probably get that one because it's like 20 bucks now. When I play games or mm -hmm. uh, uh, for, for the Call of Duties, mm -hmm. I Did first piece. play the story mode. I was, I was always interested in the stories. Mm -hmm. This, uh, what, what's the latest one that just came out? Black Ops 2. Black Ops 3. Three. Black Ops. 3. Three. Three. Yeah. That's Three. the first yeah. one I've never finished the story mode. Same here. Mm, I, like, if I played it and then I was yeah. just like, uh, I just gotta give nah, up on right. like multiplayer. Yeah. I forgot story mode existed for Call of Duty. Yeah. For Call of Duty, honestly, I, I stopped with the with, uh, story mode when it came to, what, Modern Warfare 3. I was like, this is kind of shitty. Mm. Um, nah. Modern Warfare 2 had one of the better ones. COD 4 is obviously, like, one of the best. It, it started kind of like World at War. Mm, whatever. I, I don't like a lot of Treyarch games, so I can't say. But when it comes to one COD day. 2, that's where I... That was crack to me. It was every day I was on. It, it did not matter. I had a part-time job where I worked five hours a day, and I'd go home and play that shit for eight hours, then go to bed, then go back to work. Uh, eight hours right. a night. We put in those fucking... long hours fucking just playing zombies. Yeah. Yeah, it was zombies. Well, I mean. No, two. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about two. I'm just talking well, about that war in, in general. Yeah. Just like fucking. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Putting well, in a lot of hours. I, I'm, fucking... I'm pretty excited for the remaster. I yeah. think it's pretty good. That was a clap. I just don't know. Uh, I don't know. I guess this is Infinity Ward's last ditch effort to <laughs> kind of save the company. Yeah. Or at least that studio that makes it. Because they fucked up with uh what was the one advanced warfare Pe people just didn't like that one i never played it i thought it, it looked I stupid the story to me honestly to it. It was, it was oh, shit. No. so shit all right so there you go Th right? this is their last time was it kevin costner in that one no that's uh the new one black, black ops 3 yeah mm -hmm. but i know john's the opposite of that he just likes fucking playing like he likes uh, you, he you like, like more RPGs, right? Yes, like RPGs. The, the Western RPGs. Um, RPGs, uh, basically, for I know a lot of people know or have played uh, Minecraft. Mm -hmm. That's basically what an RPG is. You get a world where you can just do whatever the fuck you want. Mm -hmm. um, I can do it. Yeah. My first introduction to RPGs was actually Ocarina of Time. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a primary story mode, but with it, you could pretty much do whatever the fuck you wanted. Yeah. Um, there was it was one of the biggest maps at the time. It's still regarded yeah. like a, one, a, if not the uh, best Zelda game. So Remember that first table that was that was just fucking amazing. But um, do you, do you like Minecraft? yeah, like half the shit that John's saying, I played. And I liked, yeah, I, I think y'all are the more like. I just like I just like to play at my own pace. And yeah, yeah, do exactly. whatever the hell I want. So the so like, game. <laughs> Wait, pretty is much. Because I mean, you can. Yeah, yeah. Isn't it an MMO, open world stuff? No, like, no, no, it's not. MMO, it's MMO. Like uh, Warcraft. Especially with that's an MMO. Is it? Uh, it's it's another, not. Yeah. Nothing that's like that. totally different thing. Really? Yeah, 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 MMO, yeah, MMOs shit. have a uh, uh, basically the one thing that makes uh, MMO and MMO is like a loot system and more of like the uh, like a big story Community. mode that culminates in having to. Pretty much gather up a team to take on a big boss like the, the raids that's where raids came kind of like destiny could be played yeah i mean for More sure destiny has okay, mmo man. bringing it back, back to, to destiny yeah, you see you're, you're you're trying to fuck me up because i'm trying to get away from I know. I'm, I'm, I'm desperately but trying not to i what, what john says yeah i play this, like the same so shit elder too. scrolls skyrim elder scrolls so, um the elder scrolls i've been playing since uh playstation one still haven't fucking probably completed right uh, no, I finished Oblivion. I finished Morrowind. Um, I fucking... 
uh, I finished Skyrim, mm. um, which was probably uh, my favorite game of all time. How do you know you finished Skyrim? Is it the story, or do you just... I mean, there's, do there's, no, a, no, even there's after, a main quest yeah. you can play. And, and but what, well, how, much, how long is the main quest? Is it like a standard? I think you could blow right through it pretty quick. Yeah, if, you can't yeah. blow through it, mm-hmm. but of course I blow. didn't. I joined yeah. every fucking guild. Mm-hmm. I joined the Heroes Guild, the Assassin's Guild, the Thieves Guild. Mm-hmm. I joined uh, the school of... Uh, Hard Knocks? Uh, <laughs> basically, it was their version of fucking Hogwarts. It was mm-hmm. the, the, the Wizard School. school. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The only game I finished was... Mm-hmm. Or fully finished mm. was Modern Warfare, uh, Modern Warfare 2. That's the only one? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Huh. Fully, like every prestige, every yeah. fucking gun. <laughs> Damn. Damn. I, I oh. love that game so much. Oh, completionist over here. Honestly, I, I hope that the remaster for COD 4 does well so that they can just do Modern Warfare 2 because that's all I want. That, that game for so me is I perfect. That, that was one of the perfect games. And this was one of the times before they really started doing like a lot of like quick fixes like the hot patches where it's like oh obviously this gun is too good so we're gonna nerf it to hell and the nerf is just like basically uh giving it like they make it a nerf gun <laughs> basically it shoots darts i don't, I don't know and it makes it more fun it takes it, it I, I got, I, slower <laughs> and yeah the time to kill is slower or they take away like effective ranges kind of things like that and it Modern Warfare 2 was the last before there was really big patches like that. They, they would fix a, a few different guns here and there, but now it seems like, especially with, with Black Ops 3, my brother plays it heavily, and they're patching it fucking to hell. Like, at, like almost every gun, they're patching some way, in some way. And that's fine, because Destiny sort of does that, but they do it on a kind of class base, unless there's one gun that's severely causing problems. There's been some guns here there but i don't like the idea of so many patches in a game just kind of let the game be and if something's broken then find a way around it and that's the one thing that i liked about modern warfare 2 i think that's what killed mortal kombat a little bit in the scene oh uh, yeah we yeah. play a lot of fighting games. we do play a lot of fighting mortal games mortal kombat so. was like very popular then mm-hmm. people just got tired of patches they change yeah. the character so the, much that people like... Uh, there is something that happens, and I, and I understand where the patches come from. You want to make sure that casual people that pick up the game aren't completely out of the know. But when it comes to the scene that's actually going to keep it and, and, and to, to help it thrive and make sure that that game is successful and get you another game out of it, you're doing too many things to... Too many, like, let's say fighting games, where you... you patch a character and if there's something game breaking okay if it's gonna completely affect the game then yes do it see but but with mortal kombat i saw it as a nether realms listening to the fans yeah saying hey man this dude this character is too strong didn't they do that with jason Voorhees? like he was super fast yeah. and strong and then they fixed quan chi because it was strong yeah and they fixed and zero and beat him. like when sub zero came out sub zero was too strong so they just kept changing, but the thing is, yeah. they, they did it too much. And they did it before big tournaments, so mm-hmm. a tournament came up, boom. You, you, had, to learn these, yeah. you had to learn how to work yeah, within these new parameters. They Smash Bros. Said. So, I mean, uh, Smash I Bros, the, the only one that's relevant in any kind of way is Melee. And guess Melee. what? No. There's no, no patches use, for it. Smash, the, the Smash 4 is the, actually the, taken the, off. Yeah. Melee is like the gold standard it, it is and, and guess what there's no patches for it it's the game that you still because it's there, there, you. no but that, that's the thing is a lot of these games that have stayed relevant like think about uh like marvelous capcom 2 that game was relevant for 10 years after about two it was relevant for for at least 12 years because it, it was like two years afterwards and then 10 years after that there was a scene that supported it and there was no patches for it. Basically, you had to find a way around better teams. Mm-hmm. And I like that idea. There's sh- But Marvel vs. Capcom 2, what 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 uh platform was that on? That was PlayStation 2 Dreamcast. 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 Mm-hmm. Well yeah, well, they can't patch that. Oh shit. yeah, of course. But like I'm so saying So me- Melee but, Melee but, they can't patch anything on that either. Yeah, with the new with the newer technology online. now, they could patch whatever. But that's what I'm sure, saying. I'm pretty is sure if Marvel two was created now, it would be patched up. Yeah, but yeah, that, that, that's would, the thing that. I don't, that like that. With, uh, like the, I, I don't like the idea of if someone's too strong just nerf them yeah. instead of instead of nerfing a character i don't see why they don't just buff other characters up i'm not uh, the, the, 
Yeah, you, that's one way to kind of solve the problem. There, there, I guess there's no real way to solve no, the not. problem. Because there's always going to be somebody that's... And this is the thing, is there's somebody that's going to be better than you. Mostly and, an Asian person. <laughs> mostly an Asian person. Japan's strong well, in Asian. Yeah, Koreans. Really that, Koreans uh, know their shit. Yeah. Well, Be- I mean, best Korea have, does. Don't they have I don't like know about South Korea. for Koreans? Like, yeah. if you're going to do gaming, this is your school, that's all you got to no, do? <clears throat> top, the top player, Pretty what's much. his name? Hiroshima? No. Nagasaki? Oh, Ping <laughs> Pong? Tian, <laughs> Tian Shinhan? No, the, the guy who won Goku. the car for versus the... I have, I have no Honda. idea. Honda. Oh, what is his name? Justin Wong. No. Guile. Justin Long. Justin <laughs> Wong. <laughs> Justin Wong. Oh, he's the tip of my tongue. Wong, Wong player. Well, oh, Justin Wong's for guys. Some young guy. Oh. Some young guy. No, but he's Korean. He's really good. Yeah, but the, the thing is... Taquito? If, if you get... Ta- taquito? <laughs> it, it's, a, it, it's, it's something that, that's been going around now. Get good. You see... That's it. It just comes down to the fact Scrub. of how you play... Vi- why you play the games. Yeah. You don't like that just because you don't play professional, you don't play tournaments. You play because mm-hmm. you love video games. Mm-hmm. When they patch it, they think they're thinking of the professionals. I don't think so though. I, I think professionals will get better. I, I I think the reason that they make patches is to make things simpler, to to make sure that they get the casual audience, and that's fine. You need your casual audience because the casual audience is what's going to drive your sales in the beginning. But yeah. what's going to drive your sales after that beginning point, let's say maybe a month or two, it's going to be the hardcore audience. They're going to be invested in your game. And they make pa- I understand some of the patches. Why not Why not leave uh, the strong characters there mm. and then have new players be like, oh, who's this? I could pick them. Mm. And then you're just like, oh, shit, because I can totally do this. And like, I'm the best. <laughs> but and then you, the cream whole- you cream them with someone better because you're like, you, but it doesn't. You it, practice against someone who's not who doesn't know what they're doing, mm-hmm. so you can see how they could like sometimes make a uh, like unexpected combo, and you're like, oh. oh shit! If anybody finds this out, mm-hmm. you know I'm fucked. So you keep on playing that kid who's mm-hmm. stuck to playing yep. that way, and mm-hmm. you find a way around it. That's the thing. That's how you get better. No, it, it's it's dependent upon skill, and the thing is, they if you want to get better at the game, you're gonna have to play it more, <laughs> and it, it's, it's <laughs> this a, is. This is this is mostly for multiplayer games. It's now, for, for people like me and John who play single player games, yeah. we play mostly. Oh, and Mike, I thought you. Were just, I just saw you laying on the couch, so I was like, <laughs> he's, he doesn't play games. He plays couch. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you play single player games, mostly we play for what story, freedom, to just do whatever the hell we yeah. want. And when they patch those up, those are because um, glitches like a fucking shitload of glitches you. like. Like Basidia, that they fucking just throw out a game that's uh, not not finished. I it's, remember it's up to the modders to clean everything up. Mm-hmm. Like, do you what 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 would you play Skyrim on, John? Uh, I played it on Xbox 360. Xbox. Yeah. I played a- which I do got to say about Skyrim is that it is the easiest of the Elder Scrolls games. Skyrim. Yeah. Yes, I um I was uh, like a level eighty seven maybe blacksmith. And like a level ninety enchanter. What what race did you go with? Uh, That's dark elf. Dark elf. Yeah, for because they were yeah. they were the better ones at destruction. He was the darkest of elves. Mm. <laughs> and um, what's your name? I don't even fucking Sex remember. It was a girl. Did you ever played Dark Alliance. A raven. Mm-hmm. Um, but like the thing with Skyrim is, I had um a fucking mansion mm. on a lakeside. Okay. I had treasure chests filled, just fucking jam packed. With powerful weapons, I had every single demon weapon available in the game. Um, Those are I, weapons possessed by demons. Yeah, just in case, um, just wanted to let yeah. you know. All right, uh, yeah. I, the thing is, I don't know Skyrim, and it's they're doing a remaster in what October, October I believe, yeah. like October twenty eighth, something it's, like that. It's, it's gonna have all the DLC in it. Yeah, I believe so. It's gonna have all the DLC. It's gonna be remastered. Is it gonna have the Thomas the uh, train engine for dragons? Have you seen the mod? There's a mod where they replace the, the dragons the, with Macho Man. No. <laughs> That's the best. <laughs> the, the thing is, uh, actually, if you have a PS4 and you're going to get Skyrim, you're no. not going to get mods. Yeah, they but, fucked it over with Play, mods, right? PlayStation has uh, said openly that they are... Well, actually, Bethesda was the one that the makers of Skyrim and all those games has said that PlayStation has blocked them from providing mods. They can do it on PS4, and they're doing it for Xbox, but uh, they PlayStation is blocking them 
maybe it has something to do with kind of their, they don't want anybody kind of breaking into the system and causing a big shit that they did back what is in... My, I've seen what? a lot of people play that uh, PC mod stuff. Because, like, uh, today I saw one of my nieces watching this guy play Minecraft, but it was Pokemon. Yeah, yeah actually, Pixel Mod. They basically yeah. rework the engine, and they'll put new skins on things, or they'll pretty much make it a whole new game if they go in deep Did you ever try that? I'm yeah, I played I played Pixelmon for for Minecraft. See, the thing is, everyone. That's what it's called Pixelmon. Yeah, it's called Pixelmon. Huh. And they've done many different ty- types of modifications to Minecraft. Like mm-hmm. that's why it's just not. If you play vanilla, just what they call like the regular game. Yeah. Yeah, it could be boring after a while. Yeah, but once if, you play, if you just play it on console. Uh, once you play, ask. once you play modded stuff, you can pretty much do whatever the hell you want. Like they have a Legend of Zelda. Like someone actually went and made a Legend of Zelda map, and you could play just basically Legend of Zelda or. Silent Hill or anything like that. Yeah, I mean, and, and that's the I've one seen thing. A lot that of that Five Nights of Freddy. I, and that's the one thing that I do like about Minecraft is just like the modding for it is insane. They've done mm-hmm. so many things for I that. I can't understand community. why Minecraft is so enjoyable or Elder Scrolls. I mean, what you, I see no, I see no two. I don't. I don't I, see. I, I don't see. I don't see the enjoyment of like Street Fighter yeah, shooting exa- games. Exactly. It's just boring that's to the me. Thing is, honestly, Tony, out of all of us, I don't know what the fuck you like. You. He likes I'll, fighting games. I like fighting games mostly. But because of the feeling you get, mm-hmm. the, like when we used to be little, you can't be um, we used to bet yeah, used like to chores mm-hmm. like against my older brother, mm-hmm. and that feeling when you beat your older brother and he gets super pissed. Yeah, love that. I I, up, it usually ends up with me getting hit. <laughs> you know how like you know my older brother, right? Yeah, he thought he was the best at more Kombat when we were mm-hmm. little. Oh, he sucks. And we always He's had terrible. chores, and we're like we're fat and lazy. So I go, I'll play you a match of Mortal Kombat. Mm. I win, you sweep the house. And then I would just love fucking beat him. And that's just the connection I have with fighting games. Yeah. The story of fighting games is really good, too. Mm. Some of them. I, I kind of have... There is no, there's no story to most fighting Rider games. The story is good, dude. That, for Super, like, for again, Super Nintendo, it's just people fighting at different locations. Uh, again, it's, it's you such had to a... Really, you had to really go out there and... It, it's such a convoluted story. Yeah. Like, you, the timeline for that bitch is insane. And like, then... You have to go online and like somebody has reworked the entire timeline. So you can and, when, and, when, and when and when they and when they tried it when they tried to give it a story like what they mm-hmm. did with Mortal Kombat, it was just a shitty kind of story. And I was like, oh, people always fight all the time. I like the Mortal Kombat yeah. story. I like yeah. the Darkstalker story. I like Dark, uh, what? the King of Fighters. It's oh, pretty King good. of Fighters. Is good. I don't even know. No, uh, again, uh, I found out Killer Instinct had a story. Yeah, Fucking yeah. yeah. It does. I didn't know Fulgore was a uh, four years old. No, he's Thunder's actually. It's Thunder's brother. Thunder's brother. There you go. His, no. bro- his brother's name, Champ. Thunder all, Dick. All fighting games have a pretty story. A pretty good story. It's I, just I how deep you want to get into it. Yeah, that, but that's the thing is, fighting games are uh, nobody. Honestly, there's not a lot of people that pay attention to the story of a fighting game. Just like, um, they yeah. just want to get better at a game, and and that for me started kind of being competitive in, in games in general. Because you suck. I, I completely sucked, but I remember it was like, I'm going to get better. And the game that was, it was was an old game that wasn't patched that I liked. It was uh, Capcom versus SNK2. And I play, I, oh, remember, I, I remember playing this when I was in fucking middle school or the beginning of high school. And I was kind of like, yeah, whatever. I remember coming here to Eric's house and actually playing it and just getting school. And I was like, man, I know I'm better than this. Like... I was really good at at uh, Killer Instinct, the first one, the very first one. And that's oh, everybody because, is because you could button smash. Yeah, you could just play as Spino or Cinder and just keep doing that one move and just whoop nope, everyone's I, ass. I, I inter- whoop, a, interesting nah. little story. You know what? I'll save that for Can I Trust. I'm, I'm gonna have two little Can I Trust yous, mm. and I'll, I'm gonna let you know about a little bit about Killer Instinct <laughs> and what I did to get better. But um, the Ooh. the thing was, I got better. at... Uh, SNK 2 and then I was like you know what there's Street Fighter 4 I'm gonna get better at that and I did and I beat everybody in this room see to me video games is connected to I haven't played so technically I haven't beat Mm -hmm. everybody that's fine I'm okay with that I can still beat you in Smash Bros no you can't no you cannot you can't (laughs) you suck at Smash Bros I I know I suck at Smash Bros and I know I could probably get better I just need courage but I just don't I mean I I beat you when I was drunk at the beginning (laughs) damn (laughs) 
And I did beat you at poking too while drunk. And no, he got lucky at poking. Nah, I still beat anytime you. I was drunk though. Like I was, I was, I was still. See, boy. see here's, this is the reason. Here's I like the thing. Games. Yes. Here's the thing. Thank I was, you. I was drunk. I beat you. That happened. You were sober. That wasn't you were, sober. You were, I was semi- no, you weren't. No, I wasn't drunk. Yeah, you're a bitch. I was uh, drunk. I was drinking. You, you, right. you next week. I, I was, I'm I bringing was my Nintendo 64. I'm bringing Smash 64. I Seven have, a, I have extra controllers. Don't you fucking worry. I got. That's fine. I think I, beat, I have two I'll or three. I'll even beat you at fucking Mario Party, bitch. Bring it, <laughs> Mario. Party. Oh, dude. Uh. See, the, the reason I love video games so much is because Mario Party, no, fighting games. It's no, no, just in general, like yeah. nostalgia and yeah. and the and just general fun, like Pokemon. Yeah, I get tired, but I play it. Like, Every game. I am looking forward to Sun and Moon. I'm going to have to pre-order Sun. Yeah. yeah I, I, I kind I, of interested in Sun and Moon. I don't even I, have a 3DS. I, I, I mean, I if anything, uh, I can probably lend you mine because I'm probably going to get a new one anyway. Sweet. So I could probably lend you mine. You just got to come up with a game. I I probably. I know I, I know. I want Moon. Okay. Yeah, I was yeah, I was, moon. I was yeah, leaning right. towards Am moon. Am I the only one I, going with Sun? No, nah, yeah, yeah, Tony's going with Sun. The Lion? Oh, Tony's come on. Nah, that's right. Tony's going with Sun. Oh, you're going with Sun? Then I got to buy Moon. Uh, true, true. I'm, just going, I'm just going with the opposite. I don't know, man. Because you you're only a, the reason oh like fighting games only get as better as yeah. the people I have around. Yeah, that's true. Once I get a game on song, I'll be like, all right. I find myself. You get, oh, but but uh, what was that? Recently, we played uh, Street Fighter Five, and what was the record? Like fifty to three. Yeah, but I got those three, and those made me happy. Yeah, but I, it's it's the, the, we literally played a fifty session game. Well, fifty three, because technically I lost three, but. I beat Tony fifty to three. That's two rounds each, and I schooled his ass. All I know, all I know is that I didn't play you as much, mm-hmm. but I had a bit more wins on you when I was playing with Rashid. You have a bit more wins, but I still come out on top. Mm. If, if we're ta- mm. if we're ta- if we're talking in the ratios here, I'm just saying I'm natural problem. talent. Yours is a uh, practice. Yeah, that's, that's why. I'm saying. I'm completely fine with that. I'm beach, I'm beach I, I, I don't mind. I don't mind I'd, a little bit of work. I probably don't want to play poking anymore. So nah, I'm talking about poking. I'm talking Smash Bros, bro. Doesn't matter. We played. What, what was that one he day when we played Smash, Smash Bros Smash all day? Bros. And we're just like 40, 40 or something. Yeah, haven't played that long just, either. Exactly. And I we're haven't played like in forever. Same here. It doesn't matter. No. Well, and yet, but I still, but I still the game. I, yeah. I don't play it. It doesn't matter. You still. I'm on. I'm on he, Destiny. He literally Destiny. did not touch that game until he played you. Yeah, Same. I didn't play. I didn't Same. play it no. since like Melee. No, it was like. you played it at Mark, Mark uh, Mike's house. No, it was before that. So just to recap, you can threaten me all you want in Smash Brothers, but you still suck. I pretty much smashed yeah, you, bro. You, you completely suck. Are, are you guys suckers for characters? Probably want you. Who me? I do. Yes, I, I will. Like, that I will play Bros. anything that has Over. Mario <laughs> That's Luigi. Wait, wait. Well, um, which one? Uh, the Wii U. Wii U. Yeah. Wii U. Okay. Oh. Are you guys you're not suckers for, for characters? This is. Uh, yeah. Like, I mean, Mario will always be part of my fucking forgot heart. To, we forgot to mention we used to have weekly tournaments here. We did four times. We four even had time. a champion belt. Yeah, and before that, <laughs> we did a big scene. We the, little, we, we would have a, a little uh, s- what Street Fighter Marvel Capcom. We Scott also Com. did it at the Bar. We did do it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was Game Lot, Heroes, Luka Bar. That was was all good times, and I wish we'd go back, but we can't. I mean, Um, technically, I don't know why we stopped. Oh, yeah. Because we we grew up. Nah. Mm, That's questionable. (laughs) I just don't don't go to, uh, to tournaments or anything. I probably could, but I'd probably have to join late, and I'd probably do terrible but i don't care about doing terrible i just know that i haven't put in as much time and i just don't want to get ridiculed no, by no. the seven-year-old kids no. honestly destiny kind of took away any kind of feeling for fighting games so i was like i'm gonna get better at destiny <laughs> so Dude, that drives me though what? when when someone makes fun of me like oh you lost you lost bad mm-hmm. i was like all right you gotta put some hours in i can't let them beat me again well, I, I still beat him. Anyways, yeah, but I got doesn't it, matter. But the thing is, I got my wins in. I was like, okay. okay. I just proved that I was well, like... <laughs> well, either way, I think uh, Eric had one more thing to share before uh, we get into the... Yeah, I mean, I mean, the one reason I really like playing games is it's mm. a good getaway. Mm. Uh, I'm just not into shooters. The only game I actually played that's an adventure game would be Final Fantasy. 
And that would be either Final Fantasy Tactics or Final Fantasy X, mm. which I still have yet to finish. Ten was I the... Like Ten's the one that had uh, Titus and the Blitzball. Oh, my God. That was... Had that underwater Quidditch, right? Basically. Blitzball. Underwater yeah. Quidditch. <laughs> it was underwater it was Quidditch. Great. That's all it was. Uh, no, nah, dude, it was good. Uh, I got stuck near the end of uh, the game. Mm. And I got... I figured out I couldn't... It was saved to where... You can try and backtrack, mm. but there's nothing behind. Did you have to mm. step on a rock? I had a. Uh, you had to beat that Seymour guy, and mm. I just wasn't strong enough. Seymour butts. Yeah. <laughs> and then I was just like, you know what? Fuck it. Uh, I just gave up. And See, I stopped playing for a while, and then I lost the game. That's my problem with like those adventure games that are yeah. linear. Mm. Right, I can never finish them because right when I get to the end, I yeah. stop and I go. You know, I think I could have beat this ten times better. I could have been way stronger. Yeah. So I'll re- I'll stop, restart. reset the whole game, and yeah. get like super fucking strong, or try to get the best weapon early on into the game. Okay. And then I get to the end, and I probably burnt out by then. Yeah. So I, I never finish I, I, it. I recently, and I gotta get back to it. Did um, that same thing with was, the, with the Kingdom Hearts. It took I, me a while. I could not get into Kingdom Hearts. I don't know why. Kingdom Kingdom and it has nothing to do so with, the, with the Destiny. Oh, Destiny. It's, uh, <laughs> it's on my mind. Um, I'm Final, probably gonna play after we get out of here. Final Fantasy Disney version. Yeah, the, yeah, the Disney stuff. I mean, it has nothing to do with that. I, I love Disney, but I just I'm not a really big like JRPG. JRPG. I I don't I don't get them. I'm not very good at them. The one thing that I'm good at is kind of shooters, fighting games, and adventure games. Oh uh, fuck! I was gonna, I was about to ask you who like who's your favorite. Uh, Kingdom Hearts character is, but then I'll just be asking you who's your favorite Disney character is. <laughs> no, technically, no, um, you can either choose Sora, Riku, Roxas. or uh, Roxas, yeah, no or any of the uh, uh, everybody nobodies. else. Fuck yeah, the nobodies. I like the Axel. Like the are the best. I enjoyed Hades. He's Hades. he's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would have to say it's Riku. Riku is the uh, blonde chick with the tits. No. It's the it's white the main guy. guy. The main bad guy. Sora's the main best friend. Okay. I wouldn't say he's like the main bad guy. Cause he's the he's emo done. kid that doesn't... Uh, spoilers he's for fucking so, so any, played so any Final Fantasy game? games that came out 10 years ago. He is not Those the main guy. He's over 10 years ago, I think. brainwashed or at least possessed by the main bad guy. He had guy. his own DS game. But, oh, yeah. But, right. <laughs> I'm Either not, way. I'm not going to get to it because it's going to take too long. But how do you guys prefer playing? I loved Kingdom Hearts and I finished... Both of them, I'm and one of the ones from the DS, and I, I never had a problem where like, oh, I gotta stop. This is just too much. I just mm-hmm. fucking, I fucking you bulldoze. bulldoze through them, mm-hmm. just loving everything. I got, I got that's, that's how I was with. I got stuck fighting a uh, Sephiroth. Probably one of my favorite you have to games. Be level eighty, yeah, exactly. Minimum to start the fight with him. It, no, I was, I wasn't. I was like a six. Yeah. something. I was like, oh, like I it tells you when you walk up to him. Like if you're not level eighty, you're gonna lose. I took the challenge and, and lost. I failed <laughs> 50 times. I, I, I eventually got tired over the same theme that they have the same theme as My Little Pony that friendship is magic. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. true. They yeah. are brownies. Uh, yeah, dude. But the, the game that I can say that I bulldozed through completely. Yeah, um, mom. Gears, <laughs> Gears of War. Not, not even Gears of War. It uh, was. Um, Ratchet and Clank. I did bulldoze through. I love Ratchet and Clank. But. Uh, probably my f- favorite game Kasui. of the PS2 era Conquers was Bad uh, Bad Fur Day. Bad Fur Day. Uh, Onimusha. God, I love fucking Onimusha. Which one with uh, Leon the... No, no, no. That, that, was, that was part three. <laughs> <laughs> with fucking the professional. Yeah. Yeah, Gene Reno. It still has one of the best opening cinematics like of any game that I've seen. Dynasty Warriors. But yeah, Onimusha. I really, really liked... Uh, the first one, Musha. The second one is very, very close. I, I like both characters that are in there. Three goes back to the first character. It's not very good, but I'll still play for the story. I didn't play Dawn of Dreams. But either way, we've so, gone on. So how do you guys like playing your games? Handhelds, Xbox, PS4, Consoles. computer? Usually with the screen. It's not good to see a screen with. I, I like consoles. Uh, 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 virtual Boy. I'm not very great <laughs> Virtual at. Boy. I like, I like it when I like, my eyes I like bleed. My, I like my eyes to bleed. <laughs> Cell phones are a thing now, too. Mm. <laughs> but it's not, it's no still Virtual Boy. I still don't. Yeah, that's all I play. Nowadays. Just Virtual yeah. Boy. Mobile games? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I can't get into uh, a mobile I game. Can. There's no game that I've ever played on a mobile. Pokemon that Go? Has been played more for than a little two bit. weeks. 
Even that, I played it, and then, like, I'm, I well, rarely open it. It was it's not even a full we game. We are suckers for it's challenging each game. other, though, on mobile games. Yes. And we always got to try to fucking outdo you. And, and I did on the last Whatever. one. Yeah, the last one that we all played. Stacker? Stacked. Or what? Stacked. Stacker. 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 Yeah, I got the highest. It wasn't even that high, but I still got the highest. What was the previous one? Well, the first one that kind of started was uh, mm-hmm. Fruit Ninja, I think. Fruit Ninja, I can never. I was never really good it's at Fruit Ninja It's the one with the circles and the colors. But it, 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 oh, either, yeah, either way, uh, I think it's about time to wrap it up, and we're going to go into our Can I Trust You story. And I have two little ones. Uh, the main oh. one that I do want to... Can I trust you? Yes, two little ones. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about They're his... They're 8-bit. <laughs> Talking the, about his genitals. <laughs> my favorite memory about gaming and my grandfather was when I was about seven years old it was my birthday and they came by and my mom was like we're gonna go to Toys R Us I'm gonna get you something do not ask your grandparents for anything just don't and I was like fine I, okay I'm gonna get something for Toys R Us cool and I go to Toys R Us and then my grandfather takes us starts arguing with my mom basically says fuck you I'm gonna get him something and there's nothing you can do to stop it and I was like, oh, I was in fucking argue. I was like, yeah. <laughs> and then the the thing that he got was, that was Leisure my very sh- first Super Nintendo. Game. Leisure Shoot Larry. <laughs> that was a PC game. Yeah, but you know it. Yeah, it was. <laughs> but uh, the Super Nintendo was a bundle pack with uh, Killer Instinct. So I had Killer Instinct, and that's how I got so good at it. I kept playing that game for fucking hours and hours and hours and hours. Was it the Sega or the Super Nintendo that had the uh, Simpsons game? The one where you used to throw apples to uh, Principal... That I uh, do not know. Do you remember what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, that was the arcade one first. Mm-hmm. But, no, no, no. Well, the, not the one where you travel with the four, but... But you got, but you got like Killer a, Instinct, Roman. Yeah. 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 So I had Killer Instinct, and uh, it's probably my favorite memory. That's tied to video games. I'm a grandfather. And it was one of the happiest. And I forgot the second story I was going to share. The Killer Instinct. How you got better. How I got better at Killer Instinct. <laughs> You're going to like this, Mark. <laughs> That's sad on I, I went to uh, a small school. Uh, Coronado Escobar. That was my elementary school. Oh, fu- what is it fucking called? Coronado Escobar. That's not, that's not a school. That, that is a school. <laughs> that's not a school. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> it, it, it is not a school anymore. It actually closed down. Yeah. Twice. It's um, actually a rehab center now. Too much, <laughs> yeah. too much to the to the kids that actually went to that school. <laughs> <laughs> so what I would do is I skip elementary classes. What? Yes. <laughs> what grade were you in when you skipping class? Probably Jesus. like third, fourth grade. <laughs> the fuck. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so what I would do is I knew there was a Killer Instinct machine. At our local Peter Piper's. Peter that's that's Pizza. actually just down the street. Back when it was Pistol Pete's? No, no. it was the Peter Piper Pizza, but yeah. it was uh, located where the fucking uh, hole in the wall. It's yeah. where, where the Dollar Tree's at now. Yeah, it was it was a smaller location. Mm-hmm. I don't know why they never questioned why uh, a little kid a little just... kid is there in the middle of the day. But I would skip classes, go to 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 Peter Piper's with a fucking handful of quarters, trade them in for tokens, and I. would play Killer Instinct until I was like, oh shit, I gotta get back to school. And then I'd fake something like, oh, I was in the restroom or something. I got diabetes. Yeah. It's a bad case. Oddly enough, you got diabetes. Yeah, <laughs> that's probably why I have diabetes now, because fucking I lied about it so often. <laughs> I, told, but, I told everybody I was a millionaire when I was a kid. Hopefully that comes back and bites me. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Random. But uh, yeah, that's how I got better at Killer Instinct. And I'd go home and I'd put to practice what I got. And I was like, there's no shadow combos. What the fuck? <laughs> but either way, I'd get better at the game and I would kick my brother's ass all the time. So, so, can I trust so, you? Can I trust you? mom that I skipped when I was three yeah. <laughs> Can I trust you to not to contact my family about any of that? But either way. <laughs> can I trust you to bring your pussy ass over to my house and play <laughs> me a killer instinct? I still you, have my Super Nintendo. How did you pass school? I have no idea. Yeah, he, I, honestly, I don't. He's been skipping so fucking much. Yeah. Weirdly. Next, next thing I know, fucking next week, it's like a story of how he skipped all of middle school. <laughs> oddly, oddly I, enough, I, he, I, I'm sure I can dig in my brain and I find feel, I feel like this thing is like Ferris Bueller every day. Yeah. Without I, the fun. I was going to say, oddly enough, I think <laughs> the only way he passed. <laughs> I said the only way you pass is each principal thought they were bad as a killer instinct. <laughs> 
I'm a challenge. Say, <laughs> right now, I get to the next grade if I can beat you. They get up to your like little face and they're like, I know you've been fucking skipping, you little pussy. What's He's all, now here's up? the thing. If you want to pass, you got to beat me a killer instinct. And I know your little faggot ass can't beat me because I got fucking spino, bitch. Damn, he puts on his <laughs> and fucking like, spino whatever. <laughs> I, I have Orchid as, as character A. If you want character B, it's fucking Thunder. Let's go, baby. Yeah, I got this, baby. I can. I know how to do that move where she totally shows her tits. Not to me, but I imagine it. Hell yeah. I don't know what tits are, but I'm pretty I, sure they're I, gross. I, I, oh, God, I love those. <laughs> and that's how you pass. That's how you got your... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can I trust you? You, you know what's that. funny, though? Out of all of us, he's the only one that finished college. Oh, Boom. damn. Uh, what you transfer. got during because no, of a technically, I'm killer instinct. Done. Yeah. <laughs> you stopped going. There's a difference. Yeah. <laughs> totally done with it. Either way, this has been episode seven of the Sitting Podcast, episode which is a acronym. acronym. All right. More people are joining in. But again, we're ending it. My name is Roman. Uh, Your boy, Eric. Hate that boy. Michael. I finally put my shirt down. <laughs> Pull off summer pants. All right. Tony. All right, and like we always say, bye. bye. bye.